So after numerous hours of planning and months of preparation, here we are, Radical Sabbatical 2.0. We're in the southwest corner of Texas, a place we've been compelled to come back to. It is absolutely wonderful here. The weather is unbelievably great, especially this time of year. Um, in addition to that, we've got wide open expanses of space, very remote near the border of Mexico. And most importantly, the thing that excites us the most, it is one of the darkest places in the United States. And specifically for that reason, you see a place here called the McDonald Observatory, which is on the highest mountain here in Texas. That observatory has the second largest telescope in the world, which we were able to tour, I'll show you that at a later time. In addition to Fort Davis here, where we're staying at a wonderful campground, the Davis Mountain State Park, an incredible campground that has both a lodge and a restaurant, wide open expansive spaces, hiking trails um, in all areas. It has scenic, um, scenic drives as well, and just a wonderful state park. Full hookups for our unit. We're just really enjoying it and enjoying the weather as well. We're also going to visit a town called Marfa, and Marfa is known for being a very, very artsy town and we'll bring you some of that at another time. Alpine is also another town uh, down here, very small towns, and they all have their own little quirks and interests, and we're gonna explore those towns as well. So this portion of Texas, our first stop, about 2,200 miles from home, over a five-day drive, uh, pulling the rig, um, excited to be here, and that's a cut. A short drive from our campground is the McDonald Observatory. It's located atop two of the highest mountains in Texas, Mount Locke and Mount Folks. The McDonald Observatory enjoys some of the best weather in the nation, the clearest skies. It also enjoys the darkest skies in the nation. Once we arrived at the observatory, we were able to join a tour which displayed two of the telescopes, one being the second largest in the nation. We had a demonstration on how the telescope operates. Once in the telescope dome, we're able to see the various functions of the telescope. The first is how the floor raises up to the telescope to allow technicians and engineers to service the units. Next, we see a demonstration on how the telescope actually moves to follow whatever the astronomer wants to observe in the sky. The actual motor that rotates this telescope is about the same size as the motor in your vacuum cleaner. This thing weighs tons, but it's so well balanced, it's almost effortless to move it. And again, the movements are extremely accurate and will automatically track things in the sky. Now, you might not see them. So at the end of the day, I know a lot less about telescopes than I should because I couldn't understand a damn thing that Joe, our tour guide, was saying. So all kidding aside, here's a demonstration on how that enormous dome rotates such that the viewing window can point in the direction in which the astronomer wants to look at a given moment. After a short drive to Mount Folks, we're shown the second largest telescope in the world. This telescope looks nothing like one would expect. It's a series of mirrors that move and concentrate the light collected from the sky into a particular collector. And to end the afternoon, we get a look at their new radio telescope. 